That's because these are just a couple of jokesters on stream. Yeah. Like, <laughs> SBF, historic for his Luigi, saw it earlier with versus Snoofle, and, you know, SBF, he's, you know, consistent in getting this deep into brackets, so we'll get to see. Because I re also, I remember talking about Zero saying, yeah, no, I really keeping Lucina for a couple of matches. I remember somebody's like, well, what character is like, well, if I told you, then that would just ruin the point. I got to keep it a surprise. <laughs> So, SBF looking to get his tag down. What? Uh, I have a feeling he's playing Diddy. That's my oh, guess. Oh, okay. So, putting Luigi... I mean, that would make sense. Because if Zero's going to be going Lucina, then the, um, the disjoint's going to be making it hard for Luigi to get in. And Although, I mean, I would, I would give it a try. Like... You never, oh no, he is going Luigi. He's just doing the SBF thing and creating a different tag. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was his normal move set. That's what I was really trying to watch as he turned off specific things about his tag's uh, move settings. Now, SBF is just like that. He he changes his in-game tag a lot. I like it. It's funny. All right. All right. Banning stages. Looks like they're going to want to bomb Battlefield, which is... Probably unfortunate. I don't really like this pick. I really don't like Battlefield, yeah. like when I play Luigi in Bracket. And I'm pretty certain this is one of the better stages for Martha Lucina. Absolutely. Tipper is so hard. Yeah, you got the spacing on all the platforms, so all you really got to do is get your opponent up into the air, and then it's just a matter of keeping that pressure on with, you know, all your aerials that reach the platform. Like right here, now this is going to be really hard for SBF to get back down to the center, but he manages to do it, snaking in and using that down B to get a little bit of damage on. Good up B from Zero just to get SBF away from him in case of a combo because he'd wound up on the wrong side. It's a roll on. Nothing from that. Zero, once again, just by the ledge. He's just the most dangerous man in the world. And no jump. Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, SBF wanted to misfire so bad to get back to ledge, but fortunately the random number generator not going to oblige him. Nope, not quite. But he's not looking too bad. He's, no, he's, really getting not. he's getting something started. That little string there, getting some good damage on him. Landing with the down air. I like that option. And the jab jab into the forward smash. He's going really deep for this edge guard, but he's got to be careful. Ooh, uh, that forward smash would have absolutely killed him, pretty sure. Like, that's it hits very, very hard. SPF has been getting better at spacing that recently. Like, like really good. Like we saw him use that against Snoofle, like the perfect shield into the uh, forward smash. Now we're seeing it here a little bit too. As we have gone for the down smash, got empty hopped over. And he's back on stage. So again, he's reaching with that forward smash now. Now I, I wouldn't, I would stop doing that. Oh. No tech from there. He lives. I'm pretty sure if he would have just let Zero go, I, he didn't have a jump. That would have been far enough away to where I don't think he would have made it back. Maybe, maybe not. Um, oh, oh, he caught wow. him. Catches him with the very last hit of that down the beat. perfect hitbox for that. And now SPF takes a stock, and then he runs immediately into an F smash. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but he played well. No, yeah, that was really good. That, that stock that he took, that was really good. He was in a good position and just stuck to his game plan of just mashing B, you know, to get that hitbox out there, and Zero just ran into it. That was a really good play. Now they're talking it over. Zero having a little bit of a laugh. It's like, eh, it happens. <laughs> Sorry, dude. All right, so we are going to... Violet would not surprise me here. Yeah. I like the stage um, quite a bit. And I, I, see, I oh, seem to be oh, one of going to Dreamland instead. The fake outs. <laughs> huh. I mean, I, I want to ask SBF when this is over why he prefers the, the tri flats against the Marcina matchup with Luigi. Like, what advantages it gives. It's probably, uh, probably a sharking thing, because I would imagine that he gets a lot of his conversions from trying to get his opponent up to the platforms and then sharking with, like, active hitboxes like Nair, Down B. That's at least my reasoning behind it. Nice landing with the Down B there. But not getting fast enough, not getting far away enough for uh, avoiding a punish. Just 
most of the play from SBF has just been at the ledge this entire set, and that's basically fighting zero in a nutshell. Once you get to the ledge, I hope you're comfortable because you're going to be here for a while. Yeah, SBF having a very hard time getting back on stage. The roll-up gets him there, but he has taken a lot of damage just to get to this point. 98 and using the up B to get out of the grab combo. Yeah, the rage from Luigi is making the down throw uh, push up a little bit higher than usual, just enough to allow that. Wow. Up the out of no. shield. Brutal. That was really smooth. Good dash attack. I love a good <laughs> Luigi dash attack. <laughs> the Drake hands dash attack. Like, no, no thank you. <laughs> and now Zero just getting on with this pressure on the platforms. Making it hard for SVF to get in in general. Nice use of the down B once again. Good anytime, back air. Anytime that he's been coming in on that angle from the stage, every single time that down B has been working out for him. And use fireballs to approach. And the Start. down B. The down Bs have been working for damage. Yeah, he, he's been landing them and Zero's been falling into them. SPF rolling a little bit too much. I know he's Luigi and your movement options are inhibited, but Zero's starting to catch on. Wow! Yeah, that was way with the down smash. That was just really lucky positioning on that point. And you, you do notice that he is starting to roll a lot, and Zero is starting to pick up on it. He's starting to just feel him out with jabs. Uh, tried, he we wanted it. it. I know SPF, he wanted the up B there, and he was really close to getting it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he can't even go for that because of the up, uh, Lucina's up B. That's just too fast. Still has a jump. Oh, oh, but no tech, no and tech. that's going to be it. And SBF asking, like, I think SBF is uh, either asking or, like I can say, we need to ask him after this set is over as to why he likes the triplat because, like you saw, as soon as he was either off stage or in the air trying to land on the platforms, you know, pressure just was too much. All Zero had to do was throw out aerials and throw out hitboxes to make it hard to land on those platforms, and Luigi can't do anything to contest that. So... All right, they're having a long conversation about the way that went. Um, yeah, they're having, a, like, they're talking. Yeah, they're yeah, well, SBF loves to farm information. It's one of the ways that he improves as a player, and I mean, it has showed over time that he's definitely climbed the ladder. Um, you know, once upon a time he was off our PR, then he was like 21st yeah. for a couple months for a little bit. Now yeah. I believe he's 14th. Yeah, like he's he showed up, and there is also the period of time where he went to school somewhere, I think, on he East was Coast. In, he was in Boston. Boston, yeah. I, I knew it was somewhere on the East Coast. I just forgot where. 